exactly which person is a, <laughs> a king without a kingdom which person is a king without a kingdom right now tell me do you do you understand this person let me give you let me give you my thought okay and uh, as the days goes by you're going to understand this guy might be the antichrist look at look 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 at this the bible says very well that he will enter with flatteries with flatteries and uh he will be he'll be a deceiver he'll not have any kingdom but a kings will pay allegiance to him okay when you look at this this person that i'm going to tell you he may be he may be not i'm not dogmatic about this we're only just weighing options here there's one guy who is really moneyed so much and uh who from the time immemorial he's been controlling governments he's been controlling uh different nations he's been controlling presidents through what through money and nobody can be able to speak because uh he's got the money he's controlling uh the media he's controlling uh, uh um governments he's funding governments he's even uh, funding who okay you you understand who okay he's funding who the 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 who the who which is that organization which is uh, confusing people right now uh he's also funding so many weird and uh, crooked projects like one of the projects is trying to dim the sun who on earth wants to dim the sun god gave us the sun for growing of our f uh, food and uh, you know to give us light but this this nuthead wants to dim the sun and also he's trying to make mosquitoes he's creating a type of mosquitoes which which can go and uh, sting people and uh, put something inside them just go and do the research he's creating some some uh, modified mosquitoes which uh, they're supposed to go and uh, you know put the abomination in people and also apart from that over since time immemorial he's been he's been quite vocal when it comes to uh destroying uh, people especially with uh, these things he's made uh, he went to india he messed up about 500,000 kids all right they all their legs were like this you understand when, what i'm talking about i don't want to use the terms their legs were like this because of something that he gave to the kids 500,000 500,000 kids the whole story was even in the parliament but uh, uh, it was debated and uh, the but within no time this the story went like this because you know the money and the flatteries he came to kenya and the women women they were they got this they got this for tetanus and many of them many 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 of them could no longer be able to uh, 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 could no longer be able to have kids think about this think about this who this man could be you see the bible says in second thessalonians that the mystery of iniquity has already been at work he who letteth will now let until he's taken out of the way and the father of this man he was also a member of trying to make sure that the world has fewer uh you know we are few you understand what i mean he did not want many people to be around his father his father he he supported this so much and even apart from that this 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 person this person this person he's been in so many scandals he's been in so many issues and everybody knows him even when all this whole thing came he was the the biggest guy talking all over on tv and uh, saying whatever he wants to say commanding and saying oh you see we we can't really go back because uh, until seven billion people have uh, you know what i'm talking about it's you know we'll have to see and make sure we understand uh, who goes where and who goes where that's why the the whole world really needs 
to have this because I say it as king who? As king who? Who made your king? Who made your king? Hmm. Making some sense, right? I'm not saying he's the Antichrist. Neither am I saying he's not. But he looks like whosoever has eyes, you're told to open your eyes, don't have eyes which cannot see and ears which can't hear. Understand and see and see. So you're saying that we are not in the end times, then, 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 I, then, then I see there's, there's something wrong. We are purely in the end times. We are purely in the end of days. We are in the end of days. Everything is set. The, the mark, the number, the, uh, the mark, the number, the name of the beast, everything. Just like the Bible told us in Revelation chapter 13, everything ready. Even those who have uh, taken the mark, you're already seeing that uh, uh, a grievous source, they're having grievous source after having taken the mark. You can see it, you can go and research and go and, you know, research all that. Go to beach, you'd go and research, type there and see the effects of those who have taken the mark and see for yourself and tell me. And when those devices, the ones that I told you, starting with the, this and then they, they have a G for communication, when they, when they are on by, let's say, December or early uh, next year, man, you're going to see people like this dropping, dropping, dropping every minute. And you'll be there wondering and saying, Woo. and all these pastors, they told us that is not the mark. They told us that this thing is not the mark. This, this calmed us. You see, if you're eating with the devil, there's no way you lead with the devil and, and, and you tell people, oh, this is the devil. There's no way you will eat with the devil and, and warn other people about your friend who you eat with. You cannot serve God and mammon. Most of these people is because you, you see the ministry is so huge and you're confused and you're mixed up and you're saying, do I really need to tell people this? Because when I tell them this, it's going to mess up my work. Then you don't love Jesus Christ. You don't love Jesus Christ. You're just a pretender. Tell people the truth. If you perish, you perish. If you lose your job, you lose your job. If you lose what you have, you lose what you have. What does it matter? It matters nothing. What does it matter? It matters nothing. Absolutely nothing. To care about these the things of the world and you don't tell your brother and your sister, you don't love your brothers and sisters and tell them the truth and you see them perish. You see them with your own naked eyes perishing and you call yourself a watchman. If the watchman does not warn the people and the sword comes upon the people and those people they are killed by the sword. Then the blood of those people will be counted upon your head, upon you. But if you warn others and tell them, hey, here's the mark. Here's the mark, brother. Here's the mark, sister. You pick the mark, you're damned. And they go and pick it. Then the, the blood of those people is not on your hands. That's what the Bible says. So me, personally, I don't want to be judged by God I don't want to be judged by a holy God. You stand there before him and he asks you, you call yourself a watchman. Why did you have a YouTube channel? Why did you have a Facebook page? Why did you, why did you, why did you put yourself as a shepherd of these people? I told you, take care of my sheep. Did you take care of them? Why did you make yourself a shepherd if you knew that you'll not take care of the sheep? I don't want to be judged by God. I'd rather tell you, stay away Stay away. You'd rather be safe than sorry. You'd rather be safe than sorry. And like, and just like um, Esau did, for those who have already taken the mark, many are coming inbox and they're asking me, Keith, now, honestly, I think I've already taken the mark. So now, what do I do? Is there hope? I'm going to tell you just exactly you use the same formula that uh, Esau used. 
when he went to his father. He asked his father, now you've already blessed my brother, Jacob. Now, what is going to happen? And, he, and his father said, I've already blessed. You know what happened? <laughs> he asked his father, father, is there any, any small blessing remaining? And his father told him, when your brother oppresses you, at least once in a while you'll just be pushing on the yoke from your head. When he's oppressing you and he's put a yoke on your head, once in a while you'll be, you know, that's the only thing I can tell you. Go and ask God. God, is there any more thing remaining for me? Is there any more thing? I don't want to give you disappointments. I don't want to be a prophet of disappointments. I'm not a prophet anyway. I'm just saying. I don't want to be someone who speaks disappointments. But just go and ask God. Now, God, is there any other thing remaining? Because you are warned. You are warned over and over. You are warned over and over. And you kept quiet. So, guys, let's be woke. Believe the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And you shall be saved. All right? See you out of a good time.